Good morning everyone. It is around 9.30 on a Saturday morning and I just made myself some breakfast. I have some, got some berries, some raspberries and strawberries. I always find the small strawberries taste way better than those giant red ones. Those ones just have no flavor. I don't know why. Got my tea and got some porridge with cinnamon and brown sugar because I, I don't even know why I would eat porridge without brown sugar. Anyways, so today I'm going to uh, spend basically the weekend with my family. Um, they're just outside of Glasgow. Um, I decided I'm going to make bake some cookies for them, so that's what I'm going to do today, get some work done. And that's that, so see you in a bit. So I'm back from picking up some supplies for baking, and I've gotten started on my cookies. So I stopped eating a sandwich for lunch, and I was eating it on a, a park bench. And I had one little crumb left, and there was a single pigeon in front of me. So I was like, all right, I'll feed you guy. No problem. I throw him the crumb, and no word of a lie, out of nowhere, 30 pigeons were just in front of me, like, pecking. And I I swear, if I die on, while I'm here, it's going to be either because a pigeon dive bombed me, or it ran me into traffic, because they're adorable, but they scare the crap out of me. So the first batch is done. I had to eat one because it fell apart. Darn. And then I have two more on the way. Icing sugar is started. It's gonna turn out, I think. I was really worried because the oven is not the best oven at all. I can't even, oh, yeah, see, can't even open it all the way. Uh, you have to like pull it to the, yeah, I'm not even gonna do it because I'm gonna break something. But well on its way to cookies, yay. Mission complete, there are three packaged cookie things. The icing didn't really turn out as well as I'd hoped, but I didn't have any real milk, so I had to use coconut milk, and I think that might be where the problem lies. But it's done, so now I'm going to leave. It's about 3.30. I'm going to get on the train and go to Dumbarton now. Yay! Yeah. Kissing the camera. Oh, oh. Your text. Hello. Oh, careful. <laughs> there, there, there. <laughs> Puppy cam. Oh, where are you going? Are you just chewing on my hands? Oh. Sunday night at around 10 o'clock, I'm absolutely beat. I don't know why I've had such a relaxing weekend, but uh, the dogs earlier were um, my great aunt's son, so I don't know how that's relation-wise, title-wise. Um, those were his puppies, and they're so cute. I can't get over it. But tomorrow morning, I'm taking the train up to Glasgow with Maureen very early. Oh, there's a bug in here. Oh, dear. Um, very early with Maureen. Uh, it's because I have to go fill out some paperwork. It's just, it's going to be a completely a working day, so I won't see you guys till probably Tuesday. Which will be fun. Tuesday's going to be a fun day. Anyways, good night. <laughs> Good morning guys, today is Tuesday and today I have a few things that I'm doing 
I volunteer, I have to train for um, being part of a society and being a volunteer for it. So I have to do training for that. And then I'm um, going for lunch with someone. That sounds very cryptic, but you don't, it's not important who it is. Um, and then I'm going to get my hair cut. I really need one because it's so uneven in the back. But I also really, really want one because uh, I think growing my hair out while I'm here was a pipe dream because it's just, I can't stand it when it's in, uh, at this like half awkward length. It either needs to be short or long and, and I don't want to have to worry about growing it out and how it's going to look and what I can do with it while I'm here. So I'm just going to chop it all off again. Um, but I'm worried now that I top it off, everything blonde that I've accrued over the summer is going to be gone. So I'm actually going to get highlights for the first time ever in my life, which I'm really excited and then really nervous about because hopefully, I think if I just get a couple blonde highlights it won't affect the actual natural color of my hair and the sun will still be able to highlight it later on. But just for now, just to, you know, you all know that I really, really love my blonde hair and I, need, I feel like part of my identity is missing if I'm not blonde. So that's what we're doing today. I'm really excited and I'll see you guys in a bit. I've just gotten off the underground and I'm walking to my hair appointment now. I'm early, which is good because I have no idea where I'm going. Um, but this is Kelvin Bridge and I think it's Kelvin River. And down there, right there, is a really cool little bar where that like they light it up at night and it looks right over the river and it's very pretty. Um, so now I have to find where I'm going and I'm really excited. Goodbye virgin hair, goodbye. So I'm in the chair. She's mixing the color right now, but it's so cute in here. We've got all these vanity mirrors and it's pretty small. The little spin around. But yeah, it's very cute. So here's the foil started. I feel like I don't know, I feel very strange. I feel like I'm one of those people who always trying to block out the x-rays. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, but here we go. Soon for the big reveal. And then chopping it off. So this is Gemma. Gemma did my hair and I love it. She's a hair genius or a magician, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm so happy with it. And I like my the color is perfect, the cut is perfect. And thank you, Gemma. <laughs> So we're just at um, a restaurant, that in deep restaurant that I told you about that's on the river now um, with our beautiful new hair. Show off your hair, Krista. Look at that. Look at that. I love the, the 40s, like kind of like almost, I don't know. The bounce. I'm going to bounce. The bounce. The 40s bounce. Oh. But yeah, so we're getting pizza. I'll get. It's about 10 o'clock now and I'm ready for bed, which is sad, I know. Um, but still, after coming home and playing with my hair for a bit, I love it. I'm so happy with it. Um, so that means bedtime. Tomorrow I get to wake up and deal with how to style this thing. Uh, yeah. Very exciting. Good night. <laughs>
when the next vlog is going to be. I'm going to edit what I have from through the computer and just deal with it and then when I get this fixed, fix it up. But um, yeah, we'll have to see how this works out and how long it will take. So wish me luck because honestly I, I've never had easy time, an easy time with any piece of technology I've ever owned. Oh, okay, anyways. <laughs>
by yourself. It's something I would not re recommend, just not fun. Chocolate was good though. <laughs> on Saturday and I've really done nothing today other than housework kind of stuff like dishes, laundry, all the fun stuff. But now I actually get to go and do something fun. I'm going for dinner with my cousin Lacey at, at I think it's called Adlib. It's like a burger joint sort of thing. So now I get to get ready for that and I'm really excited and I will vlog if I can. So I'm just waiting for Lacey now to come pick me up and uh, I'm wearing this white shirt that I got from Topshop. Not Topshop. Primark. <laughs> I wish Topshop. Uh, it's just, it's, I like the back because it's got the open, you can see it, I can't, well, uh, I don't know, white to a burger joint is a little risky, but, you know, you gotta live on the edge sometimes, right? We'll be off soon, and I'm excited, I love going out for dinner, it's just a really fun thing to do with people. Of course it is, what am I talking about? I'm just rambling now, okay, see you in a bit. My roommate's, like, drilling in the wall beside me, but there's a bunch of wires that run through there. I might, this, is, this might be it for me, guys. I might not be here tomorrow. This is our dinner. I got a, I think it was a sweet potato burger with goat cheese and, I think, am I zoomed in? Nope, I'm not zoomed in. Uh, with lettuce, tomato, fries. This is Lacey. <laughs> and Lacey, what'd you get? Jerk chicken? I, I got the southern chicken. Southern chicken burger. Yum. So this will be really good. I'm excited. So, I don't know if you can see it, but they've started to put up the Christmas lights. You can see, like, the outline of it, but I'm so excited because apparently it's so gorgeous here at Christmas, right? Is that right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we just finished at, it. Um, it was called Adlib, and it was the burger joint, and it was really, really good. Thank you for taking me. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Sunday morning and I just got up. I was up really late last night um, because Tess had a Thanksgiving party, dinner party thing, I don't know, and I Skyped them but that was like really late. I didn't get to bed till like 3 so I'm tired. Um, but it was really nice seeing everyone and it made me happy. It made me feel like I was there so that was good. I'm just going to go make breakfast now and then all of today is like a homework day um, because yeah, that I'm actually here to go to school, contrary to what it looks like. So yes, that is what's going on today. I'm not proud of this, but I finished a whole bag of, yes, it was Costco sized, um, rice works chips in three days. This is why I shouldn't have food in my room, because sometimes I don't want to walk all the way to the kitchen. So I just grabbed the chips. Three days. At least... At least it's, it's, where is it? Gluten free. Wheat free. I don't know. I'm being ironic, but. So it's got to be healthy for me, right? So we're at iCafe. Is that what it's called? More about you. Like I'm always eating. I know. <laughs> always stuff in your face. Um, but it's a, just a, I don't know, a cafe. Normal cafe with Wi Fi, so that's always good. And I got. Uh, butterscotch latte and Krista saved my butt because at first I thought I didn't have any cash and then I realized I didn't even have my wallet so I'm really good at adulting. Yeah. So now I'm headed to have um, to meet up with uh, my cousin Lisa and her husband Mikey at a pub. Um, I didn't get as much schoolwork done as I had hoped but I did manage to book a trip to London so priorities. Uh, so next weekend I'm going to London for three days by myself. First time that I've booked an Airbnb as well, so that'll be interesting to see how that works out. But yeah, I'm really excited for it, so that'll be fun. So this is where we're going. It looks really awesome. It's got lights and the vines, and it's down the stairs, so let's go and find them inside. Cute. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna sit out here. Anyways, I'm gonna go find them now. I'm set at home now. It was a really cute bar. They had a really good um, chickpea falafel. Oh, well, falafels made of chickpeas, but a good falafel burger that was very delicious with um, beetroot on it. So definitely gonna go back. It was called the Drake. So you know, 
Drake, Toronto. Very appropriate. Uh, it was nice seeing them though. Um, they're just, they're gonna help me out looking for a flat and stuff. So I'm very excited to do that because I'm so ready to get out of the student accommodation. But hopefully everything will work out and I'll get a new flat soon. Yay! So it's Monday night and I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I didn't actually film anything today, but um, there's lots this week for you guys to watch. And this weekend I'm going to London for three days, so that's probably all I'm gonna film for the uh, next week. So next time you see me, I will hopefully be on my way or be in London. Yay! Five, four or five acts.